Hello students, this video we will discuss chapter 7, Individual Income Tax Computation and Tax Credits. For this one, we will focus on only the learning objective one out of the several learning objectives in this chapter. Here are some of uh, this first half of the learning objectives. Uh, and we can see that um, there are more uh, learning objectives in this chapters than other chapters. So just pay attention to the amount of videos. I'm going to try to make them really short. So uh, even though there are several of them, but there will be uh, shorter videos. These learning objectives as these questions. Number one, what are taxpayers' regular tax liability and tax issues? Number two, how to compute a taxpayer's Alternative minimum tax or AMT. Number three, how to calculate a taxpayer's employment and self employment tax payable. Also, what are tax credits and how to compute them? How to compute a taxpayer's underpayment? And also, finally, what are lay filing and lay payment penalties? Regular federal income tax computation equals the gross tax amount is computed with a tax rate schedule times the taxable income, or what we call the tax base. Tax rate schedule. A tax rate schedule has several brackets of income tax, uh, several brackets of income taxed at different, ass assuming increasing rates from 10% all the way up to 39.6%. Filing status affects the range of income to be taxed at different tax brackets. This one, you want to see example 7-1 and 2 on pages 7-2 and 3. The IRS also provides tax tables for taxable income under $100,000 with various filing status to assist taxpayers in their taxable, tax payable amount calculation. So another topic will be, is it a marriage uh, penalty or is it a marriage benefit? So for those people who have been filing for single, when they get married, they may receive either the marriage benef tax benefits or marriage tax penalty. A marriage um, penalty or benefits occurs when a married couple has a greater or less tax liability under the married filing jointly tax rate to determine a tax on their joint income than they would have owed in total if each spouse uses a single tax rate schedule to compute the tax on each spouse's individual income. For this one, you may want to see Exhibit 7-1 on page 7-4. Uh, that will be a good reference. What are the exceptions to the basic tax computations? Number one, when taxpayers recognize long-term capital gains or receive dividends, they will be taxed at preferential rates. And number two, when the taxpayer is a child and the child's unearned income is taxed at parents' marginal tax rate. Preferential tax rates to capital gains and dividends. The preferential tax rates are 0% for 10, if, you are, if your uh, marginal tax rate is 10% or 50%, ordinary income tax rate, and then your uh, capital gain tax will be 15%. For ordinary income tax rate, if you, you are uh, under the tax bracket either equal or greater than 20%, for example, the 25%, 28%, 23%, 35%, and also a 20% for 39.6% uh, uh, ordinary income tax rate. This one you may want to see footnote 2 on page 7-4 for exceptions. There are three steps in determining a preferential tax rate. Step one, split taxable income into capital gains and ordinary income. Step two, compute the ordinary income tax rate. Number Step three, use the ordinary tax rate to determine the preferential tax rate and amount. This one you may want to see example 7-3 uh, to 7-5 on pages 7-4 to 7-6. This, we would like to look at an example that's similar to uh, example 7-5 in the textbook. Assume that Graham's taxable income is $36,750, including $4,000 of qualifying dividends taxed at the preferential rate. What would 
be Graham's tax liability on her income under these circumstances. So we need to first step number one would uh, separate the uh, the taxable income into capital gain and ordinary income, and then uh, next step compute the ordinary income tax rate, and step three use the ordinary tax rate to determine the preferential tax rate and the amount. So here we determine a taxable income of thirty six thousand seven hundred fifty. Preferential tax income will be four thousand dollars. Income tax at ordinary rate will be thirty two thousand seven hundred and fifty. Tax on income tax at ordinary rate. We we look at that and we come to a uh, a certain rate, right? And so that uh, tax on the uh, provincial tax that will be thirty five hundred times the zero percent plus the five hundred times the fifteen percent. So the tax wise, ordinary income tax will be four thousand four hundred sixty six dollars and twenty five cents, and the preferential tax rate from the dividends received will be uh, 4521 You just add those two items together. However, you need to consider um, for those uh, taxpayers who are, are in the 39.6% um, tax bracket for their ordinary income, you need to consider this uh, sort of a another uh, layer of tax. The government will access a Medicare contribution tax for those high earners. 3.8% of tax imposed on the lesser of number one, negative uh, net investment income, NII, or excess of modified MA, MAGI, right? Over 250,000 for married file jointly, or a married file single, 125, half of the, uh, the married couple file jointly, and $200,000 of all others. Also, there's an exception. Tax exempt interest veterans benefit ex excluded gains from the sales of a principal residence, distribution from qualified retirement plans, and any amount subject to self employment tax are not subject to the Medicare contribution tax. The tax is imposed uh, based on uh, it's in, imposed in addition to your regular uh, Medicare contribution. That will be three point eight percent of the lesser of these two. Kitty tax. I th the tax law reduces parents' ability to shift on earned income, for example, stock dividends, to children through kitty tax. The kitty tax provisions apply or potentially apply if. These these um uh, exam uh, these uh incidents uh, meet. Scenario one: the child is under eighteen years old at year end. Number two: the child is eighteen year old at year end, but the earned income does not ex uh, exceed half of the child's support. Or number three: the child is over eighteen years old, but under age 24 at year end and is a full time uh, student during the year, and her and the child's uh, earned income does not exceed half of the child's support, excluding scholarships. If kitty tax applies, children must pay the tax on their net unearned income at their parents' marginal tax rate rather than at their own marginal tax rate, unless the parents' marginal tax rate is less than the child's marginal tax rate. Net unearned income is the lesser of the two. One, the child's gross unearned income minus two thousand must be greater than two thousand to be taxed. Or number two, the child's taxable income. The child is not taxed on more than her uh, tax income. This one we want to see example seven seven on page seven nine. Suppose that during two thousand thirteen, Darren received. $1,100 in interest from an IBM bond, and he received another $2,100 of interest income from a money market account that his parents have been contributing to over uh, the years. What is Darren's taxable income and corresponding tax liability? Darren's mother, Courtney, is subject to a 25% marginal tax rate. So because Darren is younger than 18, so we look at uh, these three conditions, I am younger than 18 by the end of the year, and the net earned income is greater than $2,000, and so he's potentially subject to the kitty tax. 
So here, $2,200 taxable income and $400 tax liability, and we will calculate it like this. So $3,200, uh, $3, the $1,100 interest from IBM bond and $2,100 interest, uh, all these unearned income. Then we minus the individual st standard de deduction will be 1000 and there's no person, no exemption because um, Darren is still being claimed by her mother, Courtney. And so uh, the taxable income will be 2200 And gross unearned income minus 2000 so 2200, uh, 3200 minus 2000 that will will get to uh, 1200 And net unearned income of 1200 uh, will be the lesser of the either the taxable income of 2200 or uh, the gross unearned income minus 2000 So we will take the lesser one, 1200 times the parent's marginal tax rate is 25%. So there's a kitty tax of 300, plus taxable uh, income tax at Darren's rate. So $1,000 times um, uh, a 10% uh, because uh, the single and taxable filing, uh, if you look at the tax table, then you get you get that. Uh, so 1,000 times 10% equals 100. So 300 kitty tax plus uh, the uh, taxable income under the tax table. So you you uh, add the three hundred and one hundred together. You that will give you four hundred dollars. This concludes the yeah, learning objective one for uh, our chapter. Please post your questions accordingly, and uh, please also do some of the uh, problem or questions assigned for this chapter. Thank you.